Dodger, 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 The journey is on 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 Anyways, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Journey Star Journey Episode review, I lost my glasses, but fuck it. They over there, they fine. As long as I don't swing my arm in that general direction, I think we're good. Anywho, so episode I believe 59, 59 or 60. A grookey episode, the, the, the fucking monkey, the monkey, the monkey episode, um, it, it's an episode, I guess, I, I, one of the small things I like is the fact that apparently grookey says his name, his English name in his Japanese voice acting, because he's not named grookey in Japanese, but his, his like cry, when he talks in Japanese, it sounds like grookey. So I'm hoping they don't change his voice for the dub because he's still saying Grookey. He's just saying it with a Japanese voice. There, to me, there's no need to change it, but I, I don't know. You know how fucking the dub gets about changing things that don't need to be touched. Um, this episode, I know it's pretty controversial for multiple different reasons. Uh, for me personally, I'm just kind of indifferent towards it. I mean, the episode... Having the premise be, here's a Pokemon we found that we find out belongs to Team Rockets, is something that I think would have been a long-term, more interesting arc. Like, you could have did this back and forth between Team Rocket and Go, where, like, initially that he leaves Team Rocket because the ball just happens to open, and he happens to enjoy his time with Team Rocket, but, like, he has an honor thing. I mean, he enjoys his time with Go, but he has the honor thing as if since he belongs to Team Rocket... He goes back to Team Rocket, and you could have had that carry over for a few episodes where he flipped back and forth, where he would have good episodes with Team Rocket and good episodes with Go, so you were conflicted on whether or not he should really be, like, with one or the other, and then it would culminate into, like, a final episode where you could do one of three things. You could either have him go with Go, you could have him go with Team Rocket, or have him go on his own. Like, it would have been an interesting development thing, but since this show doesn't like to do arcs, and to be fair... I'm not going to hold what it what it isn't against it, all right? That, to me, is a better idea for Grookey, considering you give him a spot in the opening and his whole thing is an episode. Kind of not worth it to me. Um, I just think that would have been a better idea for him overall. But that's not what they went with. They went with pretty much the short version of that. And I don't know, it kind of, it's it's fine, I guess. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. I just don't feel like the buildup was there because it's all scrunched into 23, 24 minutes where it took it takes us until about half the episode to realize that he's Team Rockets, but it's not used in Team Rockets and it's obviously, he's mischievous like a Team Rocket Pokemon. Like, there's so much backdrop you could have done for Grookey. It almost, it bums me out that this is all we got. And part of the, on top of that, it doesn't have a lot of good gags other than Grookey being kind of a dick and wild. And that's it. They've essentially also given go all three starters. I also don't understand the... <sighs> I don't understand the dream sequence. I guess the correlation is because, oh, it's a grookey theme episode. Let's have him have dreams about Rillaboom and shit. I, I, f <sighs> I think my biggest crux with this episode is that if you looked at the episode in itself... It's whatever. It's 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 all right. It's kind of mediocre, but it's whatever. There's nothing really wrong with it. But considering shit you could have done to make this more interesting and more of an arc, things that people just in generally would enjoy more from it, it feels worse because of that. Now I'm not as angry as like a bunch of other people online I heard are, 
but it, it, it feels like a missed opportunity. I feel like that's kind of what Journeys hits me as. There's a bunch of episode concepts and ideas that I think are really cool that turn into missed opportunities because they, they get homogenized and scrunched into this one episode kind of thing. Grookey thing being in a one episode kind of thing that kind of bums me the fuck out. Like episodes that work as one offs are things like the the, the Galarian Ponyta Koharu Impidip episode. That one works. The only thing I think suffered in there was Opal. Because of course Galar generally does suffer in the fucking region that, rep that introduces them. Oh, fucking course. So it, yeah, it low key irks me that we've. You've done that. The Grookey thing isn't not the Grookey thing in its own right isn't bad, but it's like, dude, it was so easy to like turn this into like something that spanned over a couple episodes, and but was like spaced out properly. So like you would get like a filler of Grookey hanging out with Team Rocket and maybe enjoying its time with Team Rocket. Then you get an episode of it getting stuck with Go, and at the end of it, you would have some emotional struggle where Grookey's like, I like Go. But I, but I, I, I don't think Team Rocket is as bad as, as people make them out to be. Kind of like make it an interesting, conflicting thing for Grookey. Where like he has episodes. That way you could, and then look, that takes up three or four episodes. Meaning you could have episodes with him and Go. Then an episode with him and Team Rocket. Then kind of like a two-parter where like he's conflicted going back and forth. Or they're getting, or Team Rocket and, and uh, Go and Ash are getting into it more. So Grookey feels conflicted about fighting Go and vice versa. Even if Go caught him, maybe even have it where like Go catches him. Like if it was a thing like since he catches him at the end of this episode, have a thing where he catches him, right? But he, he feels some type of way about fighting Team Rocket because even though he's with Go, he still likes Team Rocket to a degree. And then Go coming to the, the decision, maybe we should release you and have you and let you have your own freedom. And be kind of a cool thing for Team Rocket and Go to have like this cool development episode that spans around one Pokemon. And this is me literally cutting on the camera and doing this shit on the fly. It's not even an overly convoluted concept. It went made for episodes. You know Journey's going to have to fill the gap with episodes anyway. It, it would have covered like multiple episodes and it would have been fine. But see, that's I think that's what bothers me is that I could do this on the fly quicker than them, do, than them sitting in a boardroom and coming up with a decision, writing it out, and then like fucking animating it and, and shout out to the animators and everything i don't want to dog them on the writing side though it's fine i guess and maybe that's just the low bar of it being a children like a like a 10 and under children show now but I, I i think i think they're just better than this i guess i don't know so like the episode in its core it ain't bad i just think it could have been better and very easily it could have been better God damn it, I got something in my hair. At least I thought I had something in my hair. Maybe I don't. Oh, well. Yeah, it's just reflections. I don't know. Anyways, but yeah. So that's just my general thoughts and opinions. Please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. I think next week is the... Fuck. Oh, it's the... I'm just going to call it the Surfetch episode because that's really what it is. Um, Which, that's only... That got, what, three episodes... And it's first episode, he got knocked out at the end of it. So it's like, ah, we'll see. But we'll see what happens. But, uh, and then I think we get a break from Journeys for a few weeks. So then I can make some more anime original content for here. Maybe go through a couple of shows. Maybe make some Best Wishes related content. Because I've been meaning to make a video on Iris for the longest. So maybe it's time. We'll see. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the support. This has been your boy, the Insane Game Freak, Schizomonic. And I will catch you guys later. Life's a game, play to win. Peace. Oh. I feel like when I get older in my 40s, that's going to get weirder and weirder me making these. I don't know. That was a weird introspection moment. Good night, everyone.